Have you ever noticed that there's a relationship between praise and trust? We tend to praise to commend things that we trust. Think, for instance, of why you recommend your favorite mechanic to your friends. Isn't it because you, you know he's going to tell you what's wrong with your car, he's going to fix it right, and he's not going to overcharge you? In other words, you trust him, so you praise him. You tell about him to others. The last five psalms in the Psalter ring with praise. And our psalm today, Psalm 146, says that the Lord is to be praised because he is trustworthy. See how the psalm begins. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. The writer calls the community around him to praise the Lord, and then he commits himself to praising. And then he turns to this matter of trust. Put not your trust in princes, in a son of man in whom there is no salvation. When his breath departs, he returns to the earth. On that very day, his plans perish. His warning is that if you put your trust in a mortal man, no matter how royal, how rich, how noble, he's going to die. And when he dies, your hopes and plans will perish with him. So what's the alternative? Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. Unlike mortal man, God is the eternal creator and covenant keeper. He's portrayed here as a king who rules over his people faithfully. Look look how he treats them. The Lord sets the prisoner free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the fatherless, but the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever. Your God, O Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. The Lord faithfully cares for his people, especially the weakest and most vulnerable. And because he's trustworthy, this psalm ends where it began. Praise the the Lord. And his trustworthiness, the Lord's trustworthiness, is put on vivid display when this psalm is fulfilled, when the Lord takes on flesh and came and dwelt among us. King Jesus dealt faithfully with his people, didn't he? He opened the eyes of the blind. He rescued those who were imprisoned to sin. He lifted up the weak and the foolish and brought them into his kingdom. And though he is also a son of man, his plans won't perish because he died and was raised to live forevermore. I mean, think of it, brother, sister in Christ. Has not King Jesus been faithful to you? Has he not shown you great love? Did he not lift you up when you were bowed down? Has he not provided richly for you? Then join in with the psalmist. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And not just today. But as the psalmist says, as long as we have our being.